Hello everyone, and welcome to the Game of Drag Reunion. My kitty's like a python, tick ticking like a time bomb. Limited edition, gotta buy it with no try on. I purchased like a lion, knock them out like Tyson. Everybody knows that I'm a million dollar diamond. I'm reckless, offensive, I destroy your defenses. My guest list is priceless, and yes, I run the tight ship. Nice to meet you. I take shit off the runway. My money or a I'm hooked tour on a world tour from Tokyo to Bombay. I'm reckless, offensive. I destroy your defenses. My guest list is priceless. And yes, I run a tight ship. Bentley's and Bentley's to cash colored lenses. And dollars and senses. Ching, it's expensive to be me. So first, I'd like everyone to welcome our youngest queen in the entire competition, and probably one of the well, most well-known queens, um, Ivory Grande. Hello, my name is Ivory. I'm feeling great tonight. I'm feeling excellent tonight. This is the reunion, and I'm feeling fish. So, Ivory, if you could return for All-Stars, what would you do? The challenge that I would do would probably be all of them. Um, including winning and beating all the other queens that can win them all the show. Do you have any messages you'd like to um, give the top three queens? Do I have any messages to the top three? Die. You're gonna die. But if I was in top three, all the other two would die and I'll still be alive. Yes. Who am I rooting for tonight? I'm rooting for actually myself, but I'm not on the race, so. I don't root any of those bitches. I just root myself. So. Sorry. Thank you so much for joining us, Ivory. Everybody, welcome our third queen, Michaela Solio. 
Hello, Lydia and Get More Drug Viewers. I'm feeling amazing right now. Thank you so much for inviting me back to the finale. Woo! So my look tonight is inspired by the 1980s, but also by um, wrestlers, women wrestlers um, from the 19, mid-1980s to early 1990s. Uh, they were very powerful women and um, really like shiny, shiny things and also chains. So um, I put two and two together and that is my look tonight. I don't know if you can, woohoo. So, Michaela, you had a lot of support behind you in the competition to do very well, and you did um, the weeks that you were there, of course. You scored high on the first episode, but could not continue on the second episode. How does scoring high make you feel? <laughs> I, I was not expecting it because, um, like Porcelain said, uh, for my critique on episode one, I believe she said that when you drown, you puff up and you get all veiny and... Um, I didn't deserve that, or I didn't serve that, so I was expecting a low score, but I am very happy that you guys expected so much from me. You know, it made me feel kind of validated, validation station. <laughs> Did you have any regrets leaving the competition? To answer your question one word, yes, I regret it. Because it was a malnourished thought, it was a malnourished decision, and it sucked and I hate it. But I can't regret it because I was so stressed and I can't put myself under that much stress, especially since it's the beginning of my senior year. I just, I couldn't do it and I couldn't start my year like that. It would have been a immature decision on my part to not drop out, but it seems so, it, it seems wrong almost because I wish I would have stayed because I could have given so much to the competition and I got my lip sync challenge done. I got my look done. I was in my look when I dropped out. It was so, uh, it seemed so quick. And what do you plan on doing after the competition? If there's ever an all stars, you will see me. And I promise that because I'm finishing school. I'm out of it. And I can do drag professionally at this point, and I'm ready. Now between just us, just you and me, I am really rooting for Rochi tonight. Um, Rochi and I actually developed a really cute little friendship um, in my short time on Game of Drag, and uh, um, she knows that I've been rooting for her throughout the entire experience, so. Um, well, thank you so much for joining us, Michaela. Team Rochi. Oh. Well, everybody, welcome CC Vitality. Hey, everybody, it is me, CC Vitality, and I'm here at the Game of Drag reunion. Tonight, I am feeling fishy, I'm feeling fresh, I feel a new and improved in this new blonde wig and my beat face. So, you better get ready because I am ready to spill some tea. So Cece, you came into this competition as a powerhouse of memes and beauty in the best way possible. And you um, kind of transformed into one of the star competitors. Did you expect to get as far as you did? I would have to say no. Um, only because, let's see, week one I was in the bottom three. Week two I was in the bottom three. Week three I was in the bottom two. And then after that, it wasn't much better until I won the BSM challenge, which then I kind of thought, okay, I have a chance of going to the end. But at the beginning, I was gonna say, I'm gonna have to say no, because looking at the girls, what when before I started, I was really intimidated. I mean, looking at them now, I'm not that intimidated, but like looking at them back when I was still learning, I was scared out of my mind. Like, I'm like, I can, these girls are so much better than me. I'm like, I'm so out of my league. I'm like, so screwed. But I ended up making the top five, so. I guess not. So you're one of the queens who took construction, or you were the one of the queens who took constructive criticism very well, and you transformed yourself throughout the entire competition. What was your strategy with that? Uh, my strategy was not to go home, <laughs> because it almost happened like, um, two times, and then it happened. So my strategy was not going home. Um, but then I started getting better and getting better, so then my strategy was to win a challenge. 
and I had to win a challenge. And then my the next challenge I had, my next strat my next next strategy I had was to win another challenge. And then I ended up being in the bottom two that week. So then it was back to not going home. How do you feel this competition changed you in general, um, just as a queen? Um, it has changed me completely. Not just my look, but my attitude, my perception on everybody else. Like, I used to be so negative and always bash on people and start drama. And I just learned to, like, be more nice and appreciate each other and my look has changed tremendously um finally covering my eyebrows <laughs> finally actually doing drag makeup finally actually looking kind of good um, um and finally moving on from my closet of dresses even though i'm wearing something from it right now um <laughs> the critiques i was given change me every week if you look back, I made some improvement, or like I listened to the critiques they gave me every week, and I just, it affected me, and it made me a lot better, and I'm so grateful that I had a chance to be on this race and meet all the girls, and I'm so happy that I, the outcome that has come out of it, because if I didn't join, I mean, I could have still been really struggling, and disgusting. It's the final three. Um, who am I rooting for? Um, I gotta say I am team Candace all the way. She's pulled it out every week. She's never been at the bottom. She's pulled out every single challenge. She's done her best. She's done her drag proud. Um, she's won, I think she has the most wins. So, yeah, Team Candace. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Cece. Everybody, please welcome Calliope Pere. Hello, Lydia. I'm doing fabulous. If I could pick anyone else to be in the top three, who would it be? Me. Um, I kind of wish that I was in the top three, but that's obvious. I think we all wish that we were in the top three. We weren't good enough. I'm not really mad at the top three. I think that Luna should have been in the top three, definitely. Um, I feel that if Luna, Candace, and Rochi weren't in this competition, the top three could have very well been maybe Paprika and maybe, probably not Shezzy, but I think that Shezzy should, I love Shezzy. I would love to see her in the top three. Callie, um, your run on the race wasn't bad at all. You actually had some very solid, lo solid looks and good critiques from the judges. If you had the chance, what would you have done differently? If, if I could go back and do anything differently, I would have, you know, accepted when I couldn't push farther than I had, that I was able, than I could have been able to. Um, another thing was that I was far too focused on my confessionals and being a character and being wonderful and lovable and just so funny when I was really probably super hated. Your exit to this competition wasn't as graceful as the other queens? Yes, I was. I was definitely a bitter Betty about leaving. I don't know why I was so bitter about leaving. Probably on my period or something. I don't know. Nonetheless, you are a very sweet little gal, and, um, do you have any regrets? Yes, uh, gender fuck. Well, I don't know, I liked my look. Maybe I would have worn a little less makeup, but I feel, I feel like me and Candace had a bit of a disadvantage in that challenge, and I did my best for what I had. Do you have any advice for the top three? Do I have any advice for the top three? They're the top three, and I was one of the first three to go home. If anything, I want their advice for me. No, I don't have any advice for the top three. Um, I have advice for the season 
two queens, which would be, if you make it onto Game of Drag, be prepared to do a lot of filming, to hold your camera and lands landscape, because you're going to look like an idiot if you don't, um, be true to yourself, focus on your looks more than anything else, don't be bitter, Um, enjoy your time. Be like Valentina. Just be Valentina. She's doing wonderfully on the season. She's focused on herself. She's not trying to start fights with anyone. She's not trying to start drama. She's just focused on herself and her run. And sh whatever happens, happens. And she knows that. Be Valentina. Thank you so much for joining us, Callie. Please welcome Gemini. Hi, Lydia. I'm feeling great. I'm a little bit sick, but apart from that, I'm doing amazing, I'm living my life, you know? Me. <laughs> I feel like this is the personality you've wanted me to have, and I just never had it, you know? Tonight, I'm probably rooting for Rochi, just because I've known her for longer. Um, I've known her since she started, so we sort of have that connection. But it's anyone's game, anyone could take the crown. Do you have a favourite look that you did on the season? My favourite look that I did was probably um, my, my Rosie the Riveter look. Um, it was something like really outside the box and really different for me. As well as my candy look. Yeah, my candy look was so different from what I was used to. And it sort of helped me escape the comfort zone that I felt. Um, so yeah. So most queens in the race labeled you as being the queen of being safe, basically. But now that you're evolved and you have your current style, you could have easily won a challenge. Um, what would you have done differently? I don't know. I think... I think this season turned out the way it was meant to. I don't think anyone else... Well, maybe Luna. <laughs> I guess they were correct in labeling me as the queen of being safe because I was literally safe four out of five episodes I was on. Um, I don't think there's anything I would have changed. I'm happy with everything that I did. Um, I probably... I might have changed my Snatch Game character, but I'm not sure. If you could do anyone other than Miranda Sings for Snatch Game, who would it be? And can I have a little taste of what it would like sound like right now? I mean, I'm really not funny, so... There's that, um, but I don't know, I honestly, I got to a point where I just knew that that was what I was going to have to run with, whether it would have been funny or not, whether I was going to stay or not, and obviously it didn't work out. Thank you so much for joining us, Gemini. Team Rochi in it, yeah boy. Everybody welcome Scheherazade Springs. Tonight... <sighs> Although I love all the top three girls, I'm rooting for my homie, uh, Trixie Hayes. You know, her and I have been close before the competition, and so I would never let a sister down like that. Of course, my vote is for Trixie Hayes. So Shezzy, you were eliminated on the second episode, and some would say unrightfully eliminated. Um, what were your thoughts on the challenge, and what would you have kind of flipped around and tried to do differently there? Um, that challenge, I will not lie, I was kind of taken by surprise, um, because although I did think that I, um, I do understand the reasons why I was eliminated, and that's because the outfits that I had filmed my lip syncs in were not the outfit that I presented to the runway, and I didn't realize that that was against the rules of that week, so I, I, it was just a lot of miscommunication on that end, and, um, Based on my runway though, I do also think that I did poorly because my makeup was busted, the wig was weak, the the outfit was okay, the outfit was okay, but I should have worked, I should have rehearsed that um, reveal better. It was just a mess. And um, since then I'm pretty sure I gotten at least a little bit better. But I do um, I do not think I was robbed because I feel like 
had I known that they didn't have, uh, you haven't had my, my bottom two lip sync, I think I would have been able to send her home because honestly, my lip sync was better. Like, no shade, but that's the team. I mean, thank God my makeup has gotten better because, bro, I watched back then and I'm like, these sharpie eyebrows and the, that, that ugly ass eyeliner. Barf! Thank God I didn't win it. Oh my gosh. You know how bad that would have looked for you guys? After the race, we realized you had a lot more packing than you actually showed on the race. And if you had the chance to do All Stars, would you? I would definitely come back for the All Stars if I had the chance. I mean, shoot, I tried to audition for season two. That didn't really work out, but you know, I still tried. <laughs> um, I feel like the mark that I left on this competition was a mark that I shouldn't have made because I was such a um, such so new to drag. Um, but now that I know a little more of what I'm doing, I think I might actually have a shot. So, yeah, sign me up for that, that all-star season. I want to thank you, Lydia, for, for pulling this competition together because, honestly, it was a lot of fun when I was here. And I was able to make so many new friends and oops, some people, uh, a lot more people knew my name and I was just, I'm, I'm so thankful for this opportunity that you gave, gave in to me. And I also want to thank all of the judges that was there for, even after the competition was over, they were still giving me advice of what I should do for drag and what I shouldn't do. And I think that my drag aesthetic has gotten a lot better. I mean, look at me compared to them. Um, but yeah, I want to thank all the judges for, you know, pushing me. And I also want to thank all my sisters that was in this competition because we, we all have that bond. Although we might not be talking to each other all the time, but we still, if, we still have that relationship that if someone needed the help, we were there to give it. And I want to thank you girls for all of that. Thank you so much for joining us. Everybody, please welcome Paprika. Hey fatties, it's me, Paprika, Queen of the Spice Rack, Robbed Goddess of Season 1, and I'm back for the Game of Drag reunion, I guess. Well, tonight I am rooting for Miss Candace Cherry, obviously, you know, gotta rep the house of sobbing, and also, um, Rochi's fat, and Trixie won't respond to my Snapchat, so I have nobody else to root for. If I could choose any other contestants to be in the top three, um, I'd keep Candace there. No offense to Rochi and Trixie, y'all are really great and all, but I'd like to be there if I hadn't totally given up. I think I would have had a shot. And, um, Luna, why did she go home? So, Paprika, on the Snatch Game episode, let's jump right into it. You were definitely a front runner that episode. Um, you said you wanted to win that so bad, but in the end, CC snatched it up. Um, do you think the reason that you didn't win was because of your outfit choice on the runway? I absolutely do think I lost Snatch Game because of my runway, like, I just, like I said before, and I always talk about this, I am really not proud of most of what I put out when I was in the competition, and if I could go back and, you know, do it again, I probably would have just waited till season two, uh, because I feel like now I've improved a lot and uh, accumulated a lot more drag and focused on the visual part of it all more than I did before. And uh, also it was literally like an S&M leather and lace challenge and I at the time didn't even own a fucking bra. So um, that was rough. I also think that it's that I lost Snatch Game because uh, not all my answers were put in, but that's for another time, you know? If my runway wasn't ugly and um, it was edited fairly, I really do think that I would have won. We have seen you blow up since the um, competition. Um, what would you have done differently if, if you could rewind with your current style and do the entire season over again? And if you had the chance to return for All Stars, would you? And what would you do on there? What kind of challenges would you be hoping for? Well, I already said uh, what I would have done differently is waited till season two because I feel like now I could actually do okay. Uh, but otherwise, I would have paid more attention to my runways and probably been more positive because I feel like I went into it thinking that I was just gonna like do great. 
because like, oh, I have friends on the judging panel, oh, I'm funny, I'm gonna win this thing, and that wasn't what happened, and, um, I ended up getting salty about it and threatening to drop out all the time, and it was just messy, and I feel bad about that. And, uh, in regards to would I come back if I had the chance, I think I would. Um, I keep saying, you know, I can't wait till All Stars because I feel like I'd have a more positive attitude and I would do better with the level my drag is at right now than it was back then, if that makes any sense. Thank you so much for joining us, Paprika. It's your girl Paprika, uh, at Petty Spice if you want to follow me and vote me for fan favorite or some shit. And now, please welcome your final three queens. By cruelty free. <laughs> everyone first up we have Rochi hello Rochi how are you feeling today I'm feeling amazing this is the best that I have ever looked my hair is looking great my dress was completely made by me it looks great I'm so proud of it and the makeup Stun these nails. These are like the longest nails I've ever worn. And I'm living. I'm gonna start doing this more. Great! So can you tell us about your look tonight? So if you've been catching up on Game of Drag, you would know that my Meet the Queen's look was a target bag dress with blonde hair, green on the eyes, and black lips. So this is just my little goodbye to Game of Drag. And a little recreation that I did of my own look, so I think my reimagination of this was amazing and so right, especially for the final three in the reunion. So you've had some pretty memorable moments, I'd say, from the entire season, but can you list some of your favorite moments? Oh, some of my favorite moments. Honestly, getting the season started because I was in the original Game of Drag and that was ended up cancelled. And so I'm really glad that we got this opportunity to do Game of Drag here. And I'm glad that I made a sisterhood with so many of these girls, even if some of them didn't like me. But other than that, um, I really loved the girls. I really loved coming up with my looks for these challenges. It's what got me back into drag. It's the only reason. If I hadn't have done this, I wouldn't be doing drag right now. And it's very fun for me. So I'm glad. And thank you, Lydia. Now there have been some complications between you and some of the girls, especially like Luna and Luna, so can you tell us about that? So with Luna, I don't know what the deal is. I confronted her about it and told her, hey, if you didn't like me, then you should have just told me instead of the entire everyone watching. So that was just a little bit annoying for me. But some of the other girls just weren't being so respectful and mature. Um, not just for us three who are over 18, but for all of us. It was very uncomfortable, I think. Um, other than that, I don't think there was much conflict between me and many of the girls. I got in some little hissy fit arguments, but I'm past it. I hope they are too. I don't even remember the arguments we really argued with, so who knows. If you personally, from your experience, could choose anyone for Miss Congeniality, who do you think you would choose? I would hands down choose Shezzy Springs. She is my sister for life. She has been supporting me since day one of the competition. And I'm so glad, so sad to see her go so soon um, because now she's improved a lot and she's supported everyone in this competition, even after she was eliminated. Um, on the Game of Drag Instagram page, there was a comment, whose team you're on, 
and Chezzy was the only person who commented on all three pictures saying she was on their team. And I find that really inspiring and I love Chezzy. I love Chezzy so much and I'm so glad that I got to become friends with her. Why do you feel you should win and not your other competitors? Ooh, that is some shady shit, Lydia. You want drama. Um, but I'm just gonna be honest, and if I hurt any feelings, come message me afterward, and we can talk it out, we can fight. I'll give you my address so we can fight. Um, I should win over Trixie and Candace because I have been consistently serving looks. I've never been in the bottom two, whereas Trixie has multiple times, and Cece and I do have the same number of wins, but I think that my wins were more iconic, honestly. Um, like episode one, hands down, definitely was me. And at the time I didn't agree, I didn't think I was gonna win, but then I did win and I was shocked and very happy. And then the candy look we both won, the reveal look she won, um, I don't remember what else she won, but I also won the Final Four challenge. So coming down to the nitty gritty Final Four, I still won. And I think based on my outfit, my hair, my makeup, my nails, everything I brought tonight shows the improvement that it takes to be a winner. Um, I do love Cece, I do love Candace, I do love Trixie, but... I have been working so hard throughout this entire competition, especially these past few days getting this look together. It's been very hard for me, but I pushed through and I'm so proud of where I am right now. You actually have some fan questions. Hey, it's Spring Summers and my question is for Rochi. Was there any uh, challenge that you thought you were going to do bad on and surprise yourself? Also, how's your belly button? Well, if you know me, I'm not very much of a lip sync queen and I can't dance so episode two was scary for me and I looked like shit so that wasn't good but I'm glad I survived things are good now I am learning how to become a lip sync queen and hopefully the lip sync you saw here tonight makes you proud of me everyone and that's about the only one I was really nervous for. Other than that, I was pretty confident with all of the other challenges. And about my belly button, I'm actually having surgery to get whatever is in there removed. I'm not going to go into details. If you want to know details, then DM me and maybe I'll tell you. But it's a minor surgery. It's going to be like 45 minutes. I'm going to go home the same day. If I die, I'll put it on my Instagram. I'll do a look with my belly button. So... Things are good. Things are getting handled. Hi, I have a question for the all of the top three. Who was your favorite queen or what was your favorite look on this season? So my favorite queens, um, the ones that I talk to the most still are Candace and Cece. And as much as Cece is a bitch, I still love her. And my favorite look, honestly... It took me a little while to think, but I was gagged by Cece's BDSM runway. She pulled out something that we did not think she was going to pull out, and she won that challenge fair and square. I have a second question for the top three. I know you all are confident in your looks and, like, in winning the season, but amongst um the top three i have to know if you if you don't win who do you think ha um will and who do you think doesn't have a shot at winning at all oh you want drama too you're just like lydia um so if i don't win i definitely want my sister candace to win i am so proud of her she's improved a lot just like i have and I really love her looks. She's a completely different style of drag than anyone on here, as am I. And she deserves this a lot if I don't win. Um, and I hate to say it, but I'm sorry, Trixie. I don't think you'll win. 
and I'm sure like there's some stuff going through your head about that and I don't mean to like you know like ugh, hit the knife in harder but that's just what I think um you deserve just as much to be here in the top three with us and you are just as talented as all three of us all other you're just as talented as me and Candace so be proud for being here and I love you lots. I love you, Candice. I love you, Trixie. I love you, Shazzy. Rochi, you're known for pulling out the most iconic looks of the season. And in and out of this in, in and out of this competition in general. Do you uh, did you have ever had any doubts in this competition? Hi Shazzy, thank you for the question. Um doubts on looks. Let's see, episode two with the Ro Rochi the Riveter um, was awful, we all know that. And that's gonna be deleted from my Instagram as soon as this race is over. Um, let's see, what else? I If I had had more time, if I had started earlier on the reveal challenge, I think it would have gone way better. Um, let's see, what else? Um, doing this, this, um, reduce, reuse, recycle look again. Um, I was nervous while doing it and while making it because it ripped a few times and I had to stitch it back up with tape and staples. Ooh. Um, other than that, I think every other look went fairly well for me. I think, uh, I just... I'm proud of most of my looks on this competition. Mr. Rochi, thank you so much for speaking with us. I want you to go back and get ready for your final performance, and we will see you later. Well, thanks for having me, Lydia. I'm glad I'm here.
My name is Candice Tilly. <laughs>I just kept like impressing the judges and most importantly impressing myself. So you have basically kept a level head, a pretty good track record throughout the entire competition. Can you tell some girls who would want to audition for season two? Can you give some of them some advice or anything? For the girls on season two, I would say to most importantly have fun and be yourself. And I think that yes, you should listen to whatever advice the judges give you, but at the end of the day, if you're not being 100% yourself, what's the point of even doing it in general, you know? So, yeah, I just say just do you, do what you feel is right, and just have fun. Now, I asked Rochi this too, but if you could choose anyone from Miss Congeniality from the season, who do you think it will be? Game of Drag season one, Miss Congeniality, Oh girl, I don't know, they're all fucking bitches. No, I'm kidding. I guess I'd say Sezzy because he seemed to, for the most part, be really nice and kind. I think that Rose is also a contender because she's really sweet too. Besides anyone in the actual top three, if you could choose a winner um, out of the eliminated girls, who do you think you would choose? I think that Luna would win. I think that she actually really could have maybe one if she just fucking submitted um but you know i understand that sometimes you're not able to submit for whatever particular reason uh but yeah i'd say luna or if luna isn't available or can't submit i would honestly just clown the yard because who else <laughs> why do you think you should be the one to win over your other two competitors I think that I should win over the other two wonderful girls is because I feel as though I have impressed the judges the most. I have been funny, I have shown some entertaining stuff, and I've also served looks on the runway every single time, every single week. And yeah, I think that at the end of the day, the rightful winner will win, but 
I personally think that I should win because I personally think that I've done the best. But no hard feelings if I don't win. The other two villains are very wonderful. Oh, and you have a question from a fan. Candace, you've had the most wins in this season. How con uh, are you confident that you can bring home the title? I'm not really sure if I still have the most wins. I think that Rotsy and I would tie, but I do think that I deserve the win because I. it seems like the judges have been more fond of my stuff than Rotsy, like just judging by the critiques. I feel like they critique her, have more negative critiques for her overall. It's really close though, so I don't know. All right, Candace. Well, thank you so much for speaking with us. Now you go get ready for your final performance, Mama. No problem. It was fun speaking with you too. Uh, I just think I should let everyone know that my fucking pink is peeling off all over the inside of my robe, and it's pretty annoying. <laughs>
Hi, I'm Trixie Hayes. Sadly, as some of you may know, Trixie Hayes had to um, abstain from performing in this challenge for some personal reasons that are going on, but we wish her the best of luck. This has not been easy. The winner of Game of Drag Season 1 is... The winner of Game of Drag Season 1 is... Rochi. Oh my god. I just want to say my biggest thanks to Lydia and all of our judges. And I also want to do a special thanks to Candace Cherry, my sister, and Trixie Hayes, my other sister. And I'm so glad I got to compete with both of you. And I'm so glad that I got to have this entire experience. And to all my other sisters who weren't top three, I love you too. And I'm so glad that you were in the competition with me. I want to give a huge thanks for the viewers and the contestants and everyone for just tuning in. And make sure to keep an eye out because season two is coming real soon.